Hey everyone, welcome back to IELTS Daily. I'm Jay, one of the resident IELTS experts here, and today we're going to look at IELTS speaking questions. So hop along for the ride. In today's lesson, we're going to look at part two of the IELTS speaking exam. And with me, as always, is my good friend Chris. Chris, how are you? I'm wonderful. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm Any good. exciting news? No. Just no. Same old, same yeah. old. <laughs> so we're going to continue with part two, as usual, a difficult part of the test. And today's uh, topic is a tourist attraction. I've just sent that question to your uh, iPad. So if you can have a look at that, we'll take a look on the screen. It says, describe a tourist attraction you once visited. You should say when you visited it where it is situated, who you went with, and explain, about what, um, explain what about it you liked the most. Now, in the, in the test, make sure you make lots of notes, but make sure that they're not long sentences. This is not a reading exercise. So I would be really grateful if you could explain some of your thoughts and ideas to us, Jay. Your one minute starts now. Um, yeah, I've traveled quite a bit, so this one's pretty easy. I think I'm gonna go with, um, Uluru or Ayers Rock, which is a famous monolith or a large stone in central Australia. Very, very um, important location, and I'll explain in my in my response why. And it's a uh, out in the outback, so it's a real difficult area to get to. It's really cool. So I think I will talk about that in my response. When did you go there? Last August, mm. 2019. Yeah. It's got about four seconds. Okay, that's your one minute. Obviously, in this part of the test, many students get nervous. Just speak as much as possible. Tell as many stories. Your time starts now. So one of the uh, tourist attractions that I really remember is uh, Ayers Rock or Ayers Rock. I, I might be pronouncing it wrong. Um, it's also known as Uluru in one of the indigenous languages of Australia. So it's a big, big, massive stone rock or monolith, as we could say in the central part of Australia, in the outback or the desert. And it's just a real remote area to get to. So it took um, about a week's worth of driving slowly um, to get up there from where I currently reside. And it's, uh, a, it's just a really grueling and long adventure to get up to where this, this rock is situated. And one of the cool things about the the, the, the rock is its religious, or maybe not religious, but its sacredness to the indigenous population of Australia. And there's lots of um, historical creationist stories that are, that are um, told by the indigenous population that are connected to this rock. And so I guess it's probably similar to maybe a Christian um, would, be, would consider a church being a really important location to, to them. Ayers Rock or Uluru is similar in, to, to the indigenous population of, or indigenous people of Australia um, in, in, in that respect. Um, and I just liked the, the solemnity there and it was really quiet and, 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 and you just felt the, the, the strength and the gravity of this location. And I really recommend going there if you ever visit Australia. But it's really remote, so make sure that you uh, figure out your path and your tra your the way you're going to travel because it's it's a difficult to get to sometimes. Super. You were one minute fifty-five. Okay. Um, let's talk about a few different words there. You said in the outback. Yeah. What does that mean? So the outback is the term that Australians use for kind of like. Pretty much, I think the technical usage of it is anything that is beyond the, uh, the, the urban areas of, um, of Australia going into the, the inland parts, so the, the desert, the desert mm -hmm. areas of Australia. Because Con most, of the people, most of the people in Australia don't live in the center part of the country because it's so arid and, and um, 
so such a desert, they live around the perimeter, along the coasts. So if other students wanted to use a word, maybe the countryside? Uh, the countryside, but I think even the desert is, is, yeah. more, is more apt or right. closer in, in meaning. A week's driving, that was great. Mm. Sacredness, uh, something which is sacred. Indigenous, people who originally um, come from that country, right? Yep. Strength and gravity of the situation, I like that. And you said somewhere is very remote. Mm. What does remote mean? Uh, remote just simply means very, very far away from other things. So, it's as I said, it's in the centre of the country. There isn't much around it. It's quite isolated. Another word, isolated. Mm. I love that answer. Thanks very much. That's all for me. Thank you, guys. I hope this has helped a little bit. Um, we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.